Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here, friends, as promised. I'm here with the second installment of uh, Weave Healthcare's uh, HIV therapy. Uh, this again is a candidate which is in phase 2A. It's called GSK3640254, uh, also known as GSK254 in short. And that's how I'm going to address this. It's an investigational drug that is currently being studied for the treatment of HIV infection. And it belongs to a class of antiretroviral drugs called maturation inhibitors. Let's get started. Welcome back friends. Maturation inhibitors work by interfering with the formation of mature infectious HIV particles. They do this by blocking a long chain of uh, protein in the virus called as GAG and uh, they prevent it from uh, being broken up into smaller pieces. These smaller pieces are needed for the virus to be able to infect the cells. By preventing the GAG protein from being broken up, maturation inhibitors prevent HIV from multiplying and can reduce the amount of virus in the body. Now, the way I would conceptualize uh, this whole thing is that, imagine uh, you have got a long bar of black chocolate and you, are, you have made a cake and you need to put black chocolate in different parts of the cake to create a, a design. So if you're not able to break the chocolate bar, then you cannot create the design. So imagine uh, that for the HIV virus to create the capsid and all the various parts, it needs uh, gag proteins and all those gag proteins are coming from one large bar of gag protein and it needs to be cleaved at different places so that pieces, can, pieces of protein can go and join in different parts and complete the virus uh, when you prevent uh, the gag protein from being cleaved. Uh, you don't get the component parts that are needed to build the virus. And that's how uh, maturation inhibitors uh, work inside the body on HIV. I hope you understood the illustration. I'll have some uh, diagrams also to show you what the GAG protein conceptually looks like. GSK254 is still in early stages of development. It has completed a phase 2A clinical trial, which showed us that it was safe and effective in reducing the amount of HIV in the blood. However, more research is needed to determine its long-term safety and efficacy. With HIV, that's a very important thing, and uh, that's what takes extra time. And if you are wondering what kind of a therapy it is, uh, it's an oral therapy, and it's not something that needs to be injected or uh, of such. And I'm going to show you a conceptual diagram of the GAG protein uh, before uh, maturation. As you can see here, uh, this is a conceptual representation of the uh, protein before maturation and this gag protein has got various components and sp1 is the spot at which uh, the target uh, of uh, maturation agents uh, remains and the ca is the one that contains uh, p24 so basically uh, gsk254 uh, 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 is uh, targeting somewhere around this area and thereby preventing gag assembly and this makes sure that you have a whole lot of immature uh, HIV particles which do not have the capability to uh, affect uh, anyone or cause any harm. Uh, so that's, uh, that's the best uh, diagram I could find on the web. So to recap, GSK254 doesn't directly prevent the formation of the capsid. The protein shell of the virus is called as the capsid. Uh, instead, it inhibits the cleavage of the GAG protein at a specific site. The site we saw was SP1 and P24, which is part of the CA. So CA stands for the protein used for creating the capsid. And um, by doing so, by, in, uh, by uh, targeting SP1 and P24, uh, GSK254 uh, manages to prevent the GAG protein from uh, maturing into smaller functional components, including the capsid protein P24. As a consequence, the immature virus particle remains non-infectious because it lacks the necessary components like GP120, GP41 for cell entry and fusion. And the specific site is at SP1 and P24, which I showed you in the diagram. The P24 is contained within the CA uh, domain. CA stands for uh, capsid, as I mentioned before. And um, the GAG polyprotein shown uh, in the diagram was a long chain of amino acids encoded by HIV genome. And during viral assembly, this large protein needs to be cut into different pieces or cleaved into different pieces. And for that purpose, HIV protease enzyme uh, at specific sites is required. 
and um, uh, these smaller proteins which are created using the protease enzyme are crucial for various steps in the viral life cycle. For example, P24 forms the viral capsid, uh, the protein shell enclosing the viral genetic material. MA is another component uh, which uh, lines the inner surface of the capsid and plays a role in viral assembly and budding. And nucleocapsid or NC binds the viral RNA genome and plays a role in its uh, packing and unpacking inside uh, and uncoating inside the uh, capsid. And GSK254 acts as a maturation inhibitor by specifically targeting the cleavage site between P25 and spacer peptide 1 which is SP1 regions within the GAG protein. So this specific cleavage event is essential for uh, proper formation and maturation of the viral capsid. By inhibiting P25 SP1 cleavage, GSK254 prevents the GAG polyprotein from being fully processed into mature functional components, including the P24 capsid protein. As a result, immature non-infectious viral particles are formed. These particles uh, lack essential structural components, including a properly formed capsid and cannot successfully infect host cells. And the specific amino acid sequence at the target cleavage site is crucial for GSK254 binding. Mutations in that region can potentially lead to resistance against GSK254 and um, that represents a potential risk for GSK254 based on whatever I have read so far. So, but still GSK254 represents a novel approach to HIV treatment by targeting a late step in viral life cycle, offering potential advantages compared to existing therapies. I'll continue to monitor the progress of the clinical trial of this therapy and bring you updates. But in exchange, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye for now.